Whatever happened to Blister? What's up everybody, Drake back at it again with another video. So those of you that don't know, or maybe don't remember, I'm the type of person that's always looking for games that are, you know, close to swap 4 or ready or not. Well, a while ago, I found a game called Blister. It was a very tiny game being made by two brothers in the UK, I believe, under the name Item 42. I think once upon a time it was actually on Greenlight, back when that was still a thing. Its description reads as follows. Blister is a tactical single player shooter set during a modern re imagining of the English Civil Wars, blending tense FPS combat with strategic planning. You, the player, assume the role of Officer Abel and command your NPC officers through a challenging series of counter-terrorist operations. From raiding insurgent strongholds to resolving hostage standoffs and defusing bombs, the gameplay itself, at least judging by the videos, are very reminiscent of door kickers where you command your units to go in without trying to get any of them killed, setting them up, telling them where to go, you know, that sort of thing. And then you press play and everything goes in as it should as seen in the videos. Although, it looks like a very complicated system that kind of just gets glossed over in these videos. Like, it seems like there's a lot of options that you can do, and they just kind of speed it up just to get through it, as if to not show off that part, which is actually the most interesting part that I would have liked to have seen. But yeah, another thing that really sold me on this game was the original soundtracks that are going throughout all these trailers. I think that they sound awesome, and you can actually listen to them over on SoundCloud. I'll link it down in the description. But that's not the reason I'm making this video. The reason the reason I am making this video is because item 42 has gone relatively quiet and it's really worried me for the development of this game. A game that looked like it was so far in development and again this game also had a lot of interesting ideas that were going to be brought to the table and for it to just like go completely quiet is just like oh no what's going on here. So I reached out to them via Twitter to see if they were still around, and thankfully, I got a reply. Here's what I said. So how's it going? I haven't heard from you guys in a while. And he replied with, Yeah, we've been pretty quiet. A few reasons, really. We're still kind of negotiating with a few publishers, which takes a very long time, and is full of uncertainty. We're also still busy with other projects to pay the bills as usual. Blister has kind of taken a back seat for a bit while we go through trying to get funded. That's game development, I suppose. And yeah, this was back in the middle of March, so I'm not sure how they're doing now, but this was the third time that I had actually talked to them. During the second time, they went into a little more detail about an issue with trying to get investors, stating that it's hard for them to make a pitch when the game is single player and only being worked on by two people, which in my opinion, sounds almost like an achievement given what they've shown. So there you have it. As of right now, Blister does not seem to be a priority for item 42, at least not at the moment. I'm not sure if this spells the end for the game. I really don't think it does. I mean, looking at all the videos, it seemed like it was pretty far in development. For now, we're just going to have to wait and see if the game comes off the ground. Hopefully they get their investors or uh, publisher rights or whatever, because it certainly looked well into development, so all might not be lost. This is definitely a game that I've been anticipating to try out and maybe finish, probably do a full series on the channel because I mean it is single player so I'm going to put links to everything that they have on their channel their Twitter their website you know all that stuff so if you want to keep up to date with what the developers are up to I will still also report on it if anything else comes out so yeah I think that's all I'm gonna be saying today I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one bye bye